And let's join my next guest now, Bob Rango, Mobile and Wireless Group Vice President from a company called Broadcom. Good morning. Good morning. So Broadcom is a diversified semiconductor company based out of Irvine, California. And what we're showing here at the show is how you can turn a, a, a handheld mobile device, a cellular device, into a gaming platform, into a camcorder and a video playback unit, as well as even watching TV on your mobile handheld device. The CEO of Broadcom, Mr. Scott McGregor, who joins us. It has to do with being in a number of different areas, everything from mobile and wireless to broadband communications to uh, uh, high-end network enterprise communications. Create 3G phones at the same price you pay for a 2G phone. So we think things like that will drive the economies uh, for the consumers. It'll make it attractive for them to buy these phones. One company which makes chips for such products is U.S.-based semiconductor company Broadcom. Bill Rooley is the CFO and joins us now in the studio. First of all, the general Christmas sale seem to be pretty good uh, off, off the start. Uh, the personal video recorder, and we were the pioneer in providing chips for the personal video recorder, the so-called TiVo-type devices that uh, uh, suddenly have become everybody's must-have, allowing you to, the consumer to have the choices of uh, so many different features. Scott McGregor, who's president and CEO of Broadcom Corporation. We're here today making a number of announcements. Uh, we're announcing that uh, we're offering our Celerity platform, which is really a total cellular platform that integrates things like baseband, Bluetooth, all the pieces of a cell phone necessary to sell a product. You're right about the convergence thing, and, and cell phones used to just make phone calls, but people expect so much more. Broadcom is the front runner for any potential deal. Joining us live from Barcelona is Broadcom's president and CEO, Scott McGregor. Well, 3G GSM, I think, is the show where you see a lot of new products. We're here today trying to show how we can take a lot of that advanced multimedia technology and get it into phones uh, less than $100. We're seeing a number of uh, upgrades from analysts right now as they see that we're through a lot of that and that we have a great technology story going forward. And I'm here with Henry Samueli, who is the chairman of the board, the chief technical officer, and the co-founder of Broadcom, the chip company. The chip industry is it's exploding as far as mobile devices is concerned. That is something that is a prime focus of, of Broadcom R&D. Uh, in fact, one of the, the advances we introduced today, a technology called M-Stream, was targeted just to that. We're joined right now by Scott McGregor, CEO of Broadcom, which makes over 20 different kinds of semiconductors for consumer electronics. Uh, we're announcing some chips at the show here. In fact, I, I brought one of them. Uh, this is a, a single chip right here that allows us to uh, uh, reduce the price of a cell phone dramatically. It typically takes between 9 to 18 months for a customer to take a new chip and turn it into a cell phone. Um, tell me first, just kind of about the overall, the overall survey. What, what did you set out to do? We've been managing uh, costs of companies' back office operations, SG&A, for 13 years. Over the past year, we've seen a very steady increase in finance costs. Uh, we separate companies into two groups, what we call peer groups, or the, or the majority of the companies, and then we call leaders, we call them world-class companies. In the meantime, though, Europe's top 500 companies, they could save nearly $40 billion annually by offshoring their back office activities. That's according to a new report by the research firm, The Hackett Group. For more, we're joined by Rick Roth, Chief Investment Officer from The Hackett Group. Rick, good to see you again. Um, down the barrel this time, but nevertheless, good, good to be speaking to you, Rick. Um, so huge savings potential for these companies. 